Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Aeroscale, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we've got uh, something special. This is the launch of a new magazine. Uh, may look familiar to those of you uh, on the armor front with the Weathering magazine, uh, but you can see clearly this is the Weathering aircraft. So it's a spin off magazine. Um, from the folks at Asion Press and um, Ammo by MIG, uh, or distributed by anyways. The uh, chief editor is uh, Javier Lopez de Anca, um, and uh, basically you know, gives a little intro here about uh, why they thought this essentially was going to be a good fit for aircraft modelers, because there really wasn't anything out there. Uh, in a magazine form. This particular uh, initial magazine is going to be on panels, uh, so dealing with panel lines and, and uh, weathering and um, that type of effect. Now the magazine is probably printed in Spanish. This is the English language version, but uh, you can probably find a Spanish language version out there, I'm betting, uh, considering it's from Asion. And um, yeah, so let's so let's take a look. Let's just do a quick little thumb through. So we've got <laughs> some continuation of kind of the um, the weathering magazines um, uh, mix of of interesting um, female figures, let's say. But uh, yeah, you know, obviously they're doing a takeoff on a uh, uh, the typical uh, pinup art on the side of a bomber or something. But in this issue, we've got a, a MIG Fulcrum, a Hellcat Mark II. Uh, T2 Buckeye, uh, FW Huckwolf 190A5, uh, F15J, and an X-Wing, so quite a bit of variation there. Um, and uh, just doing a quick uh, kind of uh, page through here, you can see some great photography, obviously, is a pretty pretty traditional hallmark for these books. Let me change my, my, uh, my lighting control here, my Venetian blinds a bit, and try to, yeah, there we go. It's a little bit of fade out <clears throat> there. So, but each of these articles is similar with, um, with what I'm familiar with with these guys is going to have a lot of step-by-step -step and technique demonstration. In other words, it's not going to show the entire model, but it's going to show a specific technique area of the camouflage or the weathering and so forth. This one obviously is going through uh, the basic start uh, of some of the... Um, the weathering detail and so forth. So it's very, you know, very obviously by the, the term, the weathering aircraft, it's very specific to weathering. Uh, but you will find, you know, some various things. I loved how they injected the model in there. That's cute. Um, and she, she's throughout the throughout it, the whole thing. So uh, and then with the T2 Buckeye, again, similar kind of overlay here. Uh, the Falk Wolf. Uh, and you know, very few ads is mostly content in these magazines, which is nice. Um, the, the price, by the way, was was nine euros, so you can expect to pay a little more for that in terms of both conversion and, and so forth in the United States. But uh, and then uh, the X wing here is very very nice. I'm not sure I agree with some of the weathering detail here on the cockpit, but you know, every artist has his has his uh, you know his his, his interpretation of uh, of uh, what it should look like. Uh, back of the magazine, after we get through all the features, they do have uh, some uh, sh shots from shows, postcards from the world, um, and more shots of the gorgeous model there. And uh, yeah, so conclusion, uh, the in the next issue is going to be chipping. So, so take a look for it if you can't find it in your local... Uh, Hobby store newsstand. You might want to ask them about it or, or see if they're aware of it. It's it's definitely out there now. Uh, the website is www.theweatheringaircraft.com, and I'm imagining you can probably find it uh, on both Ammo's uh, Mig's uh, Mig's Ammo Ammo Mig site and also the Asion Press um, website. So I'm sure totally to uh, mention it as well. So we'd like to thank them for sending us their introductory copy and. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed this little brief preview and a little kind of a news blurb, I guess, in terms of just, you know, hey, it's out there. Um, so we'll see you next time. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Turning the Page.